There's uh, Noel is back. Hey, Gary. Uh, Nova. Her new name's Nova. We changed her name. Sometimes that helps them <clears throat> get a new start <clears throat> uh, in the ether. <laughs> right. Uh, is that a real thing? Uh, the universe. The aura. So, uh, it's probably just a silly human mental thing, but whatever. It works sometimes. Like Pepper. Her name wasn't Pepper until she got here. Except the girl that gave up on her said her name was Pepper. She probably doesn't know her name. I'm like, well, she doesn't know it if you don't teach it. Uh, but anyways, she was adopted. And I think she was here February last, if I remember. And it's not really my memory. It's I looked it up when they said she was coming back. Maybe it was January. I don't know, whatever. It was still a couple weeks ago, so long enough for me to forget it. <laughs> so, anyways, the point is... Um, even though she's been here a couple times, <coughs> a couple times in a couple months, let's turn it this way. She got poo poo, poo poo in the corner. Uh, so whenever new dogs come, I always I try to make this like the yard, right? So I had a comment a few days ago on the video that said, I have a problem with you having your dogs off leash by cars, and I'm like, whatever, bitch. Um, but what, hey girl, hi, watch out for the canyons. I like that shit, don't bother us. So all I do is we just walk around this one big park a bunch of times, like the potty walks, even though she's been here, uh, it's been a while. So she knows to go all the way back there. So that's why she was trying to go back there, right? But the first few days, I'm just gonna stay in this little yard. I'm just going to keep her in the yard, and then we do heel drills right there, and then we play right here, right? So, I'm going on the theory of building value. Building value? Building value? I don't know, whatever. Of In the area, right? In the area and with me, right? Um, so, it has happened before where uh, the long line has snapped. When we're on the backside, not with her, but with another dog. And the dog's just cruising around and uh, it gets, it got to a certain part. So I do this side and then I'll do one part. Of, this is a, what is this called? It's whatever kind of shape that is. It goes like this, a S. Um, so I'll do this side, then I'll go on the back side, and then I'll go one, two, three, right? But pretty much I build, hey girl. I spend as much time here as I can. So the story is, the dog, the leash broke and the dog went up to one of those townhouses back there and uh, it just immediately started coming back. Like, cause I wasn't gonna try the recall yet because I was too far away and I knew it wouldn't work. So even though I was closing space to him, I was just walking normally, it turned and came back. And then instead of coming to me, cause again, the recall wasn't good yet, it went across that backside and came over here to the field and came over here and wanted to play, right? So, and the key there was I wasn't chasing it. I was just walking towards it, right, with purpose. So, I was kind of like this, right, but not chasing. You don't want to chase them. Makes it fun. So, she just went across that way and then came back to where the value was. Now, is that going to work for every dog? Probably not. Nothing does. But... Anyways, we we'll just walk big circles for potty walks and then heel drills over there and then play right here. Um, it, it might be uh, just a goofy thing that I do and it might actually work. I don't know. <laughs> I only have that one incident. <laughs> um. Hi, girl. But it does get, it does pretty quickly, like within a couple of days when we're coming out from the condos, so my condos are on, on the other side of the street, where we come out the gate, a lot of the dogs that really like to play, they like really want to get over here, right? Because that's where the play is. That's where I'm 
getting this work and I'm getting all this food. I'm getting the attention. So that's why I have to work on the walk. <laughs> I kind of let the rules go there a little bit. I'm gonna let them pull me over. They're a little more free. Um, right, so I make a kind of sort of invisible barrier, I guess you would call it. Build value in the area. Did I talk about her being returned? So the dude has something going on. I love her so much, but with what's fixing to be going on, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Because at first, he had some problems before, so I sent him a bunch of videos and talked to him. And he didn't do anything I said, I don't think. <laughs> because the, la the reason he decided to give her up is, come on, girl. Uh, she got out of the harness and ran up to two other dogs. And then there was a big old fight. I'm like, well, why was she on a harness? Why was she on a harness? And, and if she was on a harness, were you doing all the work I told you to do? Because especially on a harness, you have to do a lot of, a lot of work. Uh, that's where I was going to go. And that's the problem with uh, seeing stuff on the internet. Is, uh, like, there's videos where... And they're, short, they're, they're little short videos, right? And it says, the caption says, um, they say not to have reactive dogs on a harness. First off, you don't know that the dog is reactive. It could just be somebody saying it. But let's take them for their word. What happens is people see that and they go, oh, I can have a reactive dog on a harness. Let me put the, here, this way. As I'm standing still, right? Good guy, Rao. Let me go ahead and put my dog on a harness because it's more comfortable for the dog. More comfort for the dog is less control for you, which is bad with the reactive dog, right? And so here's the point of being able to do reactive dogs on a harness. What they don't tell you is how long it takes the dog to get to where they're doing, how many sessions they set up in order to get that way to walk in real life. Like I even saw... One girl the other day was bragging about it. it. Took her two years to get there. Well, that's fine. If that's what you want out of it, right? You could have had her on the collar and got her there faster, even without corrections, because you would have better control. My opinion. Oh, chat for that hole, girl. And most of the ones that do it too, they have, they have the front and back clip harness, right? Good girls. They have the front and back hook harness, so that way, when they're starting to go that way, you can pull the front part that's connected on the chest to have control, better control of the body. Because when the harness, the harness is back here, so you got no control, right? So the double clip harness, you would be able to go whoop, to pull them away from what they're reacting to. So it's a mechanics thing, right? The mechanics on a harness for a person is harder too. Unless you work at it. <laughs> like everything, right? Do, 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 do. And part of it is however you learn, right? If you learn on a harness, you're going to be more comfortable doing it on a harness. Uh. But maybe it's the control freak in me. Control freak. I'm not so much a control freak as I used to be. Uh, what did I say? Stuff on the internet. Oh, yeah. So, like, there was one that I did read, but the, uh, the thing was, the thing was so long, I swear it played the video, like, ten times while I was reading it. And she actually went into, um, a real descriptive thing of how she did it. She didn't say how long it took, but she, she did real descriptive of, of describing all the work that she put in. So that one was really good because she said, but want to see how read, read the, whatever it's called. I don't know. So that, she actually 
invited people to read it because most people you're going to watch the video and you're not going to read it right so if they say i do it on a harness then everybody's going to be like okay i can do it on a harness whereas this one girl was like i have my reactive dog on a harness but right then it goes in to explain the ton of work that she did which i mean even on a collar it's a lot of work what you think girl 15 minutes is enough. Ready to go in? <laughs> here, let's go sit over here for a second. Did you get enough water already? Oh, that's the other thing. So, uh, I create, right? So, I build value in this yard, and then they're crated out with me, crate out with me crate obviously um, that's that's return and new dogs oh yeah <laughs> what's up girl oh, <laughs> why you want to run into my head yeah new girl you got a little girl you got little girls You need to run it out a little bit? Let's go where there's not so many little craters. <laughs> Let me give you a little more space. I only had it on uh it's about 15 foot. You got a little you got a little zoomies? Huh you getting little zoomies? Right, so so that builds value in you too. Uh being the only person and then uh being away from you right so when they're away from you they want to be with you more absence makes the heart grow fonder right so then you're you're walking with them you're feeding them you're separating them i think through the gate her and pepper were pretty cool um We'll see a couple more. All right, whatever, dude. Oh, I was gonna make fun of that dude. So this time I sent a message. I was like, so is, or, is this something, we, are you going through something we can work out? Or are you definitely gonna get it? He's like, no, I think we can work it out, right? And I was like, okay, well, let me call you later this evening. So then when I called him, he was like, yeah, dude, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what the? Why would you tell me this morning that you could work it out? Because I wouldn't have wasted my time talking to you. Although I needed to to get more information. Anyways, that's some bullshit excuses. I love her so much. Just blah, 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 blah. Did you break a tooth? Did you break a tooth? How long ago did that happen? I don't remember that. I don't remember a lot of stuff insignificant things <laughs> you want to flip and flop everybody does everybody got the back scratch fever I don't know man people find all kind of excuses to give up on everything these days not just dogs, but the sad thing is when we give up on dogs. Huh. It's messed up when we give up on you guys. Look at that thing. Look at that cute thing. He's such a cute girl. Yeah. He's such a cute girl. Ugh. All right, ready? There you go, sweetness. Ready? Come on. Oh, don't go running now. You're on the short leash. Let's just drop this off. Actually, I need to... I need to get another one of those and retire that one. I got one for the other backpack. I need one for this backpack. 
You want to watch her drinking? All right, we're out of here. I think I said all my dumb stuff. Ha, ha, ha.